The book of Genesis is the beginning book of the Bible. It starts off in the beginning God created. Uh, what a way to start a Bible. It's the only way really. What a way to start a world and what a way to start a life. Uh, as you look at the overall picture though of uh, the book of Genesis, it's fascinating to notice that one-fourth uh, of the book of Genesis at the conclusion uh, has to do with the life of a man named Joseph. Uh, now think about that for a moment. Uh, when the creation account is given and God tells us about the stars, He says, and He made the stars also. In five words, uh, the whole putting together of the stars is contained. And yet one-fourth of the whole book of Genesis is contained about the life of a man named Joseph. Now why is it that God dismisses the billions and billions of stars with five words and spends a fourth of the entire book on Joseph. Well, the reason is God is far more interested in making people than He is in making stars. God is far more interested in the salvation of a human soul than He is in the creation of a star. And beginning in Genesis chapter 37, we have this fascinating story of this man named Joseph. And in particular, as you read uh, Genesis 37, you run across a phrase uh, that is very interesting. Uh, his uh, enemies, so to speak, or his brothers who hated him, when they saw Joseph approaching where they were, they said, behold this dreamer coming. And you know, when you take that statement, though it was meant in derision, it becomes really a kind of a statement that has to do with the entire life of Joseph. Joseph was a dreamer. God had great plans for Joseph. And as you recall, we read about Joseph and discover that, that he had some special dreams, as we will see. He had some shattered dreams uh, as he faced the adversities. But then at the conclusion of his life, he has sweet dreams. And uh, how wonderful to read in the Bible about a man named Joseph and what God did in and through his life. And when you go to the New Testament, the New Testament summarizes this life of Joseph with this little phrase, God was with him. And it's wonderful to know that God will be with us as well.